So you got yourself a nice camera and it came with a standard everyday lens. This lens is affordable and a good compromise solution. The plus is that it forces you to work on your composition to push your photography further. But sooner or later, you're gonna need something better. Let's talk about that today. G'day, Thurk here, getting you educated for Ted's cameras. Before we get stuck into the best first lens for you, don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with the camera experts. Upgrading from the kit lens, as it's called, is an essential to becoming a better photographer. The kit lens can only take you so far, but if you head over to the lenses section on Ted's, you'll be greeted by a host of options. So where do you even start? First up, let's talk about capabilities and types. There are three main types of lenses. Your standards, your telephotos, and your wide angles. Now from this as well, we also have zooms and primes, but we'll, we'll unpack that a little bit later on. Now standard lenses range from around 24 to 85 millimeters. These are your everyday walk around lenses. 24 is pretty wide, and 85, this is your standard old school portrait length. Now telephoto, these are your long lenses. Anything over 85 millimeters is your telephoto length. These allow you to enlarge distant objects and they also compress the images as well, which is a neat trick. And finally, we have wide angles. These are what they say on the tin. They're wide, going all the way down to eight millimeters for you extreme fisheye lovers. Now in this, you can also buy primes and zooms. Primes being a fixed focal length, and zooms, well, they zoom in and out. Zooms are a more flexible option, but primes, they're gonna give you a better quality image. Now we have a basic understanding of the different types, let's dive into what you want to do with your camera as telephoto and wide angle lenses will increase the capability of your setup and allowing you to shoot in different ways. But a standard lens, this is gonna increase the quality of your current setup. Now let's get specific. Think about the type of photographer you are. If you shoot lots of street photography, you wanna go with something slightly wide, something like the Sigma 24 to 35 F2. This will become your best friend with great low light performance. It's a sharp, good quality lens. If you're more into birds, sports, or even portraits, you want to go something long, maybe the 135 f2 from Canon, or the 70 to 200 2.8, like this option here. The best first lens really comes down to the type of photographer you are and want to be. If you want to increase the capability of your setup, increase the quality of your work. For me, the best first lens was the 24 to 70 f4 from Canon, and then the Sigma 35 1.4. This I use for low light capability, and the macro function on this lens is fantastic. That's about it for me. Catch you next time. And for more Ted Education content, head over to teds.com.au.